Welcome back to Living Whiskey, I'm Callum. Sam. Sam, I'm the Balcones European Oak Single Barrel. Alrighty, so uh, back with Balcones, big surprise. Um, we did say last episode that we're going to be doing this one, it's the other single barrel. We still need to get the French oak barrel finish, uh, but this one's the European. We're going to grab down the American, uh, compare the two. Yep. In a sec, we'll get through the kind of the meat of this first. Basically, Balcones, Texas, Waco, well, Waco, Texas Distillery. Mm -hmm. um, single barrel is just a whiskey that they don't decide to marry into different barrels, like the one big kind of uh, thing to send off. Uh, they decide that the barrel itself is so unique and of high quality that they keep it true to what it is. Um, and that's what this is. Uh, so the cask in use in this one is the European oak. Yeah. Um, so note wise, this one is noticeably different for us for the first time we tried it, like a couple of hours ago. Well, I mean, we will compare it later, but from memory, this isn't as um, less fruity. Yeah, less fruity. It's got more of that plasticky note. Yeah, it's more or like um, it's got the hospital more classic grade, savory kind, of, yeah. kind of like more meaty. Not savory actually, like more, just less fruity. It's like the same notes, but just it, it feels like more salted caramel and wood and less uh, kind of, like the other one was as if it was like Texas version of a like sherry finish mm. kind of like, 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 like a dark For some reason, I don't know why the American oak had that effect, but for us, it just tasted like super fruity. Uh, this one on the nose is less so. There's still sweetness there though. Tons of sweetness and a fair bit of fruit, just not that like in your face. Oh, I'd, I'd, say, really ripe I'd say yeah, more like a, a pear or something like that. Yeah, and this. And peaches. Peach pear. Some apple as well. And there's lots of like molasses, lots like of dark, salty sugar flavors. Lots of like, just lots of smoky wood notes. Not like PD smoke, but just kind of like, I don't know, just. And not, not smoke itself, but like burnt wood. Charred wood, I'm getting a lot of. Yeah. And you're getting that corn sweetness impact. Mm hmm. I'd like to know the exact mash bill, like the what, as in like it's corn, but I want to know what, uh, like the strains of corn they have, because they have some super unique ones. Yeah. Um, so it's vanilla. And a little bit of vanilla, cocoa yeah. Cocoa or chocolate. Yeah, yeah I'm getting cocoa. Not I as think, much as the rice. Yeah, I think the rice, you know, like any cocoa we get in this is going to be kind of like, it's going to be harder to find uh, this time because we had the rye. If you watch that, that is like dark chocolate the yeah. whole way through and like super obvious, like it's not subtle at all. This has got so much depth in it, like rich brown sugar. It's creme brulee, it's so good. It's creme brulee, it's like, the, like last time I said it, it's like a fancy creme brulee when they lift up the dish with the like, and yeah. some like hickory smoke or something with it. It's so richly sweet. It's not like the uh, like a caster sugar or like a white no, basic yeah. sugar. Yeah. Really rich, dark, like yeah. intertwined with the wood, like the wood char, you can taste that as well. Roots, brown Fruit. sugar, molasses, mm. like burnt wood. You're getting uh, like a, a saltiness and again, yeah, that salty. kind of melted wax. It's if like you can, for me, it's like when you see the wax seal on Balcona's bottles, I feel like I can smell it as if they've just pressed it, I can smell it in their whiskey. For me, it's like a waxy, plasticky kind of like melted note. Um, I mean, there might as there could be wax in there. It was melting when we put it in the box, it was so hot it. It was, it was, it was stringy when we yeah. pulled it out, so. <laughs> Maybe that's the note. It might be in the box. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're tasting the American note. Firstly, look at the color difference. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that all that well. If I, maybe if I do that. It's like they're very, we've drunk way too much of the American oak. Um, but it's not It's not to do with the levels. It's literally no. the French oak is, um, this the is European like red, oak is, like is in, yeah, yeah, it's got a much more ready hue to it. Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's, it smells red. It's like the mountain, it smells, it smells like warm and honey. rich and yeah. I reckon the sweeter European has sweeter and fruitier. It's more malty and more This savory. has got a different kind of sweetness. This, the uh, European has a more richly, like sickly sweet, whereas this is more like a light fruity for me, I reckon, around. I reckon for me, this one's the more sickly, and neither of them are sickly sweet, but if I'm gonna say it, if it has to be one, it's gonna be the uh, American oak because I'm getting more fruit. Like if I, 
I kind of associate sickly sweetness to that over, overly ripe fruit sweetness. Mm. Which I, I get, get more like a, like a dessert sweetness I'm getting on the European compared to like the fruity sweetness. That's probably a better way me to say too. it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. They smell reasonably similar. This one's got a lot more fruit. The, uh, what is it? The American egg. Yeah. I reckon it's like... Oh my god. So sweet. It, it's definitely got more acidity, like fruit acidity. Like it smells fresh, like it's got more Taste. fresh fruit. It's sweet, zesty freshness. With way, a lot of fruit. way sweeter. It tastes, it tastes not as dark. Like, no. Dark, caramelized. It tastes less and more fruity. When you follow it up with the European, the European's got a lot more wax in comparison. But it's a lot more dark and rich in that sweetness. Like the Prefer the European. So do I. Back to back, we, I mean, that's fantastic. Oh yeah. Compl and when you again, they're probably good. gonna change yeah. depending on what day, what time of day, what you've had to eat. Like, yeah, exactly. That stuff changes constantly. At the moment though, I'm leaning a bit more to the French. Yeah, so am I. Sorry, European. 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 French. We need to get the French jokes so I stop uh, accidentally saying it. I reckon it's gonna be even more confusing. Because yeah. no, they don't differentiate, there's just like yeah. a word on the back. Yeah, you have to look at the back, like <laughs> a little kind of faded writing to see, because the front, there is zero difference to them. Um, yeah, I, this one's darker, it's more caramel sweetness yeah. and dessert, like creamy chocolateiness, whereas uh, the American Oak is more of like a fruity, kind of sherry, overly ripe fruit sweetness. Yeah. Still nothing like a sherry or a scotch or anything like no. that. Uh, it's leads in a different direction, but it's just if I'm using some kind of like similar note from the same realm of you know whiskey, uh, then I'm using sherry as kind of like that yeah. uh, that note. Um, but yeah, let us know your opinion on Balcones. Uh, if you've had these two, which one you like better? If you agree with us on the fruity note, but yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode of Everything Whiskey, leave us a like. If you want to see future episodes from us, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do, we'll see you next one. Cheers.